security. Primary pieces of defense here are the your authentication and authorization schemes. So in other words, identifying who a user is and what they have access to do. We have session state protection, which is basically, which prevents the users from changing the URL, which is great. Um, I actually had a, a user that was worked for, or a developer in my class a couple months ago that um, he builds applications for uh, schools that has to do with kind of grants and proposals. And what ended up happening is that the teachers uh, found out that they could change the end of the URL to look at other grants or other um, requests that other teachers were submitting uh, to see kind of like what their competition was to try to like get the funding, the awards for their proposals. And it was causing a lot of problems. It, sometimes it might not seem like that big of an issue, uh, but it can be. And then the other thing that we're going to touch on is uh, Oracle VPD or Virtual Private Database. So uh, VPD is a basically a way of pushing your where clause into the database. So in other words, you would just write select star from emp and under behind the scenes, your Oracle database will say, well, who's logged in? Oh, Tyson? Well, um, he can only see his record. So while your application says select star from emp, Oracle will kind of rewrite that behind the scenes and say select star from emp where employee name equals Tyson because I happen to be logged in. So that's really cool because that thins down kind of the need for kind of redundant queries um, in your applications and it makes sure that uh, security is kind of enforced at the database level, which is wonderful. 